Hey, hi guys, uh, welcome to SSAS uh, class for lesson two. Actually, we are planned for this one actually, X Velocity engine. So the storage mode, we have a VertiVac engine. So like, uh, uh, if you know the SQL column store index, uh, so it will be the same like a column store index only. Uh, it will, so just a simple way guys, okay. I will give with example tomorrow onwards, but uh, what is VertiVac engine? A artifact storage okay so x velocity is a engine actually x velocity analytics engine uh, so because of that so it's uh, this engine use the storage mode vertipacks so this compress the lot the data will compress a lot so in our previous video so we have explained right like so ssas tabular model and multi-dimensional model so you, it, if it is compressed third third size it's compressed a lot like tenth size okay so much compression is here so because of this uh, vertipack engine how it will you know uh, compress and all like so whenever we have a text data so it will go with the it will read with column by column actually so I, I will give you know detailed explanation tomorrow so i will give a take an example and then how it will convert uh, from uh, you know uh, text to uh, you know like numbers and uh, how it will read so normal databases it will go row by row row by row and then read the data but uh, because of this vertipack engine it will read the data in column wise so whenever you are uh, going with the specific column uh, it will uh, you know go with that specific column and then retrieve the data very fast so that we will discuss with the example okay tomorrow but today we'll discuss with the first ssas um, you know how to create first ssas uh, tabular model guys okay let's continue with okay i opened the uh, you know this one uh, visual studio and uh, here also i will connect the ssas in uh, analysis service okay you have to go like so in a connection okay there is a connection right so here you are able to see the connection right so just connect with the ssas okay let's click on that connection okay connect and then go with the ssas Okay, this is uh, so. If you uh, if you don't know, like if you don't have this SSAS and all, so I've given like how to install the you know uh, MSBI. What we required to uh, required for the uh, you know MSBI concept like analysis service and all. So how to install? I've given clear step by step process. Go to my channel and uh, you can find that uh, like uh, so uh, installation process and all. Okay, so let me show you that one, guys. Okay. Let me show you that one. So go to YouTube and then my channel. So there I have given a uh, step-by-step explanation like how to, uh, you know, sorry, go to my channel. There I have given the installation process, okay? Uh, like let's go here. So this is the SSIS Visual Studio. So Visual Studio installation I have given and then SQL Server 2019 also I have given. So let's go. So if you haven't installed your Visual Studio and then SSMS 2019, so I've given this uh, you know, installation step-by-step -step process. Just following that, you can understand this, okay? Following that, you can understand, okay? So hope that makes sense. And then, okay, let's go with the new file, okay? New project and give the, so this time we are going to with the, uh, you know, SSAS tabular model. So if you don't find this case, okay. So let's go back. So if you don't find you, have, so when you, after installation, you have to search like analysis service. So then, uh, so there you will find the, and uh, see this one, okay. So analysis service tabular model. So just click on that. So it will uh, like so the second time onwards, it will come here. So just click on that and then click next. Click next. And then it is asking path okay by default it will create this repos okay if you want to go with the different path um like uh, so uh, in, your, in your own drive okay d drive uh, and then practice files go with the d drive and then uh, practice files and the practice files like create a ssas folder okay create ssas folder ssas folder and so go with that and then select folder okay so that way we can go and then create okay wherever you want to create you can create and this is a, a very uh, uh, important one so you can go with the workspace server and then so this one okay this server so you need 
to have some workspace like how in power bi we have the workspace the same way you need some workspace server okay that is this one okay so like sses the same server name i have given just connect and then go with the sses there is a server name right just copy the server name and uh, and go with this uh, okay so just give here and then click on text connection okay so the text connection has succeeded and uh, you can check your compatibility so whatever the compatibility so mine is 2019 right so that is the reason i'm giving that compatibility if you have a lesser version so okay, you can go with the uh, lesser version also okay and then so click okay so click okay it is connecting to the uh, server now uh, and also so here is the uh, very very important thing is that so you have to go with the you know extension and connect with the import mode okay i am going with the extension for 2019 onwards case okay 2019 model earlier uh, you will see the here the model here only but uh, 2019 onwards extension is there in extension there is a model so if you go with the model you can find that import or else you can click on this one also okay so you can click on this one you can find that import also okay both are same okay you can go with the extension and uh, model and click uh, import from data source okay this time i am going with the sql server okay sql server means not analysis service guys okay whatever the sql server we have so like uh, this the normal database so we are going to connect that server now okay so this server so the server i am going to connect so let's go with that server okay so my local server right so i am just giving so click on here and give the dot okay and then click okay so local server right so that is the reason i am giving a dot so here is the important thing is that so you need to give the service account case okay you need to give the um, so impression account is there identity is there service account you have to give and then click connect so before so it will connect so before that guys okay you need to go with the services okay so so go to the start button and then uh, you know click on services there you can find the analysis service okay so like click on um, analysis service okay services so let's go down down i think there you will find analysis service so microsoft analysis service okay you will see microsoft analysis service where is the microsoft service Microsoft uh, okay so here is the uh, sorry sql server so i am searching in microsoft but it's sql server analysis service guys okay this one just uh, you have to go here okay you have to go here and uh, go to the property so then uh, go to the property there you will see the user okay so you can go to the logon so there is a no account okay well uh, installing only you will get this account actually so take this copy okay take this copy and then go to your uh, you know uh, uh, so there is a security right so in the security there is a login so go to a uh, new login okay so go to new login so uh, actually i have already added so go to new login for your uh, information i'm just giving guys okay just search and paste it here and then check okay paste it here and check and then click okay so click okay and then uh, you can go to the server roles and then give sysadmin uh, then after user mappings so just go with the uh, you know give access to the uh, adventure works 2019 uh, so that's it okay so and click okay and uh, so for now i'm cancelling so you have to do like that okay otherwise it will not so it will give an error guys okay so that's i have already done right so just uh, cancel this 
and then uh, go to this one. I've selected the service account. After uh, uh, done all these things, okay, you have to go with the service account and then click connect. Okay, so you will get this warning. That's fine. Okay, click okay. This time you need to, uh, you can see all this. Okay, so even uh, you need to add your Adventure Works 2019 DW. So I have added that one. So I have given clear video guys. Okay, how to add Adventure Works DW to our, uh, you know, a SQL Server database. So just watch that video. Uh, you can search with the, my channel, my name. So there you will understand step by step process how to add this Adventure Works DW also. Okay, just double click on that. It will open and then okay whatever the tables okay fact internet sales okay let's go with the fact internet sales and then click to select and then so you can even same like a power query like how uh, uh, you will have a you know, power bi load to transform the same way you will have here and even even you can clean the data also okay so just select uh, you know related tables okay when you click on uh, select the related table so whatever the so this is a relational database right so the related so the joint tables will come okay if you want to go with the transform so it will open a power query here also okay but i, I will show you power query uh, after some time but now uh, so the data is clean right just i am clicking directly load okay so it will load the data now see so how the excel sheets uh, you know fact internet sales dim currency and dim, um, you know, customer, so everything. So yeah, it's loaded data now. So whatever the data is there, so the data is imported into uh, this one, okay, model. So even the same like Excel sheets, like how the data, even if you don't want some columns, okay, you can go and then, so uncheck that, okay. If you don't want that, and then you can remove, you can right click and then uh, remove also, okay. So and the dim date and dim products, okay, this is the, uh, no grid view grid view means like a table view you can see that and then there is a diagram view okay there is a diagram view case okay here is the this is the grid view and this is the diagram view okay you can go to uh, you know diagram view it will give the like relationship between the tables and all okay like the modeling so like it automatically created the modeling when we selected the related tables case okay when we selected the related tables so okay it will uh, it has created uh, no this model Okay, so task schema it has been created. Uh, and also, if you go to the uh, you know this one, okay, there uh, you have two tabs. Okay, solution explorer. In the solution explorer, you will have the BIM. This is the BIM extension file, and uh, you will have the tabular model also. In a tabular model, you will have the relationships like uh, so. What are the relationships you have? So just when you click on that, so this open the relationship tab. Okay, like like in how. In Power BI, like we'll have the relationship like one to many and many to one. So, and then, uh, so like, so what are the tables you selected? And then, so key columns, you can drag that. Okay, so these are the relationships that automatically created. So we'll create manually also from tomorrow onwards, you will see how to create a manual and all. We'll see that one also. And uh, so these are the tables what uh, we have uh, you know, uh, created. And the prospectives, we learn the prospectives and the KPIs and then measures if you create a measure. You can create a measures also. Everything we'll see tomorrow. And uh, so if you want to deploy this case, okay. So just save this and uh, build this. Okay, there is a build build solution. Okay, so click on the build solution. And if you want to deploy, you, uh, you have to go with the, you know, uh, you know this uh, solution explorer and right click on the stabler model uh, and then uh, go with the property. So you have to make sure the target server is your analysis service. Okay, you have to give this server name. Uh, so make sure you are uh, connected with the correct server or not. Okay, this is the analysis service. There is okay. There is I have only uh, one uh, tabular model there uh, already. So if you deploy, so the tabular model project uh, eight also will come. Okay, just um, so click OK and then uh, right click. Uh, so one deploy. Click on deploy. Okay, so it will uh, take you to the uh, uh, so uh, analysis service. Okay, deploying into the analysis service. Okay, let's close this. Okay, it's su deployment successfully done, and then go here, and then let's see whether it is deployed or not. Okay, so let's refresh the database now. See, so it's has been deployed. Okay, tabular model project eight has been deployed. 
and then if you see the tables so the same table whatever the tables are there the same tables you will see currency customer rate product promotion sales territory um, and fact internet sales and then fact internet sales reason okay so those are the tables only right so if you go to the tabla model so there you have the tables so these are the tables we have so now uh, so from here we can connect with the tabla so this tab down model we can connect with the power bi also okay let's open this power bi okay so open the power bi so we can connect this uh, model uh, to power bi and then we can create a report also but i am not going to create any report and all just i am showing how to uh, you know connect with the live connection just okay? just uh, go with the analysis service get data and click on analysis service click on analysis service and give the server name okay this is our server name right just to go and connect uh, analysis service and give the this is the server name so take copy and uh, go with the server name paste it here and then let's cancel uh, and then uh, click live connection only so click okay and then which model you want to take okay i want to take tabular model 8 okay so this time okay so let's select this model okay, and then click okay so that way we can connect the tablet model how to create report and all we'll see that okay but i'm showing here how to connect the live connection case okay, so that's it so see there is no uh, no uh, data tab but tablet model uh, model tab you cannot see anything just you can see only the uh, model how the model is uh, no in the tablet model the same model you can see that okay you can see that so this is the tabla model and you cannot edit anything okay so and then you can see whether it is connected the live connection or not okay see it's connected live and whatever the tables here we have okay so you can create only visuals you cannot create any you know uh, calculated columns here okay hope you understand that so from tomorrow onwards we'll understand more details about the uh, analysis service okay thanks guys thank you so much